Good evening, everyone. How are you? Now, I could really worry everybody watching on the internet by starting to go. <laughs> and don't forget, you are also being broadcast, so you may want to say, what a great song, says Claire from Shrewsbury. <laughs> so when it comes to clapping and cheering, you know, this is your big moment. When I looked at the songs I wanted to sing on this little solo tour, I, uh, I divided them into songs of the land and songs of the sea. And for someone whose grandfathers were dockers in Southampton, but who was raised in the West Country, it seems like a good division. So this first half, we're all going to be at sea, if that's all right. And a mixture of traditional songs and uh, original songs, but generally that's going to be the, the soundtrack for the next 50 minutes or so. You sailors bold who plow the ocean See dangers lands men never know Tis not for honor or promotion Nor tongue can tell what you undergo in the blasterous white and great dark water Our ship went drifting on the sea Her rigging gone and her rudder broken Which brought us to extremities For fourteen days Heart sore and hungry, seen but white water and bitter sky. Good fellows all stood in a totter, a casting lots as to who should die. The lot it fell on Robert Jackson, whose family was so very great. I'm free to die, but oh, my shipmates, let me keep lookout till the break of day. Then a full dressed ship. Like the sun a glittering came bearing down to our relief. As soon as this glad news was shouted, it banished all our care and grief. Our ship hove to, no longer drifting. Cape in Cape Vincent, Cape Verde she lay. You fellows all who hear my story, pray you'll ne'er suffer the like again. can measure the worth of an acre of land and say when the wind would blow reach down to the earth as it ran through his hands he would tell you just what he could grow his family had stood on these ridges and Seven generations or more He was born to the fields The streams and the sky But now he's a man of war Strong winds bring him back All away
when his father fell Ah, the land was carved With one piece for every son When there's barely enough For a family to feed There's hardly enough for one So he went to the harbor And stood on the quay Saw the waves crash to the shore Turn in the cries of a man of the land into a man of war. Strong winds bring him back all away. All away. Now the ocean's cold And the tide's running deep And he dreams he is home at last Running handfuls of grain Through fingers like sand And then on the water it's cast It falls on the sea coast Drifting down to the dark of the ocean floor When he sleeps and he dreams He's a landsman again But he wakes as a man of war Strong winds bring him back When he sleeps, then he dreams He's a farmer again But he wakes on a man of war Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, that, uh, that first song, um, I got this wrong the other night. I, it's from a collection called the um, Penguin Book of English Folk Songs. And for some reason I described it as the English Book of Penguin Folk Songs. <laughs> and people were sort of going, I think they're expecting like a, lots of songs about the Falkland Islands or something like that. It was a collection that I found when I was about 14 and I, I still think it's about the finest collection of English folk songs that's ever been made. And uh, A.L. Lloyd collected it. And um, I had no idea that within this country we had such a fund of amazing songs and stories like that. But now I'm going to sing you another song about the sea. It's called Undertow, but <coughs> this is a bit more up to date. It's about... Um, Seaside town life, uh, in particular it's about Exmouth. Because people go to our seaside towns and they only really see the romance and the glamour <laughs> of a place like um, a place like Prestatin or somewhere like that and they don't realise it's quite a tough environment in the winter. There, there's quite a few sort of problems with drugs and uh, unemployment. So this is sort of like a looking at Exmouth from the point of view of a young couple who, who just dream of escaping. And you wonder if they're ever going to get away. So they're caught in the undertow. Devonshire seaside town 21 years ago 
Failed at school, broken home, it's now those scars show But my girl Amy, just 19, wants to be a nurse Says we need skills and if we don't leave we'll end up somewhere worse We talk about America, dream of Spain Don't want another winter here in the English rain We long for Australia, I'll catch waves all day You know I was born here, no way I'll stay When summer comes round, I'll be found Working all along the beach Hiring boards, putting out chairs Trying to keep dreams in reach Staring at the stars, Amy and me Soaking the sun-warmed ground Or lying in the dune, sand in her hair Look at the moon turn round Talk about America Catch your waves all day You know we were born here No way we'll stay No way we'll stay And then one dark night, my best friend stole a car by the docks. I wish he had seen the London plates. He never would have forced the logs. He hit the M5 110, laughing as the clock span around. Left it burning in a clifftop field. It lit his way to town. Either end of the road Trapped in a yard At the back of a spa Where the vans and the lorries unload I heard the sirens Saw the flashing lights They found him left for dead And there's Amy at the a &E Working on nights Through the glass door shaking her head You're talking about America All your dreams of Spain But he's got another winter now in this English rain Oh, Australia Never catch waves this way You know he was born here Here he'll stay Oh, America Why don't you learn a trade, she said We might make some money then We'll have it made Oh, Australia In this undertow In the undertow Is it the same story All around the shoreline Weymouth round the sea Thank you very much.
One of the great things about working in this genre is that you get instant feedback from people. Uh, possibly after the show or during the interval, people come up and... Uh, the other day, about three nights ago, a guy, a guy came up. Um, I think we were up in the Dales, and uh, he said, uh, that song, uh, The Undertow, he said the guy was trapped in a spa. <laughs> it's a bit of a posh place for it, then. <laughs> and I said, no, it's a spa in Exmouth. It's a grocer's shop. He said, oh, OK. I thought you meant somewhere like Arrogate. <laughs> And the whole song just didn't make sense to him, you know. <laughs> now, there's a guy, he's stolen a car. The guys whose car it is have trapped him. He goes, I think I'll go in for a bit of a treatment. <laughs> Although, I don't know why I said it like that. What am I trying to imply? What a ridiculous... <laughs> yeah. And, uh... Likewise, I got involved in a conversation with somebody. This is a song about an extraordinary man called John Harrison. Uh, he was a clockmaker... Those of you who read the book uh, about longitude will know that he, he virtually cracked the problem. He virtually solved the problem of longitude uh, far more effectively than anyone had done up to that point. And I was introducing the song one night. And I said, this is a song about um, a clockmaker from Lincolnshire. And the guy said, West Yorkshire. I said, oh, sorry, thank you for that. And uh, I said, it was in the early 1700s, 1707, he shouted out. <laughs> I said that Sir Cloudsley Shovel was, uh, was wrecked off the, the Silly Isles. He said, October. <laughs> Thank you, said October, 1707. Uh, and the fleet. Yeah, we, we gather the fleet. And that prompted the Admiralty to, to issue a, a, a prize for anyone that could devise a more effective way of determining longitude. And the prize was uh, 30,000 guineas. 20,000! He said, yeah, right. <laughs> Probably the same guy going on about the spa. And it took two wonderful Scottish musicians, Dick Gocken and, and Brian McNeil, to celebrate the life of an English hero who, um, who kept on with his work and uh, was finally recognised his achievement very late in life. And he's got some amazing lyrics in this song. And, and the line I like particularly is, how many lives and how many talents were tainted by the poison well of envy from which they drank. But the wind that guides and fills the bold top gallants was harnessed by a man with neither privilege nor rank. But we sailor lads, we knew, and we gave our thanks. It's great writing. <laughs> Cold blows the wind Cold runs the ocean And colder still the breath of fate That sends the roaring gales Stars give their light For duty or devotion but a sailor's heart needs more than prayer When I and compass fail And more than hope to steer his lonely sail By sea and land John Harrison's hands Made sure forevermore Sailors could find longitude to bring them safe to shore. Your work was hard and your days were driven. You knew that you could build a clock to marry space and time But your one great wrong Was never forgiven To be better than your betters It was worse than any crime And their envy 
It was a hill you couldn't climb By sea and land, John Harrison's hands Made sure forevermore Sailors could find longitude To bring them safe to shore And the prize of 30,000 pounds Was more than just a prize it was dignity, it was justice Over bitterness and lies And the longer they denied you Attacked you and decried you Well, the more you saw How many lives How many talents Were tainted by that poison well Of envy from which they drank But the wind that guides And fills the boat of gallants It was harnessed by a man with neither privilege nor rank but we sailor lads we knew we gave our thanks by sea and land John Harrison's hands made sure forevermore sailors could find longitude to bring them safe to shore. Thank you, Thank you very much. have here oh it's Fairborn Springs Mineral Water that's nice and uh, this has been hundreds of years trickling through the rocks <coughs> and the sell by date is <laughs> December that's all uh, always strikes me as odd that now it tastes a bit brackish possibly <laughs> thank you. Um, there's another I mean you may have heard um, when uh, show of hands play that, that song undertow that that we've had people complaining about the health and safety issues of suggesting that a young man is hiring uh, surfboards on Exmouth seafront <laughs> and uh, I blame the internet I mean if, if people haven't got the sort of um, they can't summon up the pluck to say on the night you know I don't agree with that but you get the email comes flooding in. Someone said, uh, with a tidal ra a rise and fall of almost uh, 15 feet and a outgoing tide of 25 knots, I do not recommend surfing off Exmouth Seafront. <laughs> so now you're getting like the health and safety implications of your songs. But the weird, I'll tell you the strange thing. What is strange is that when you, when you sing a traditional folk song, you can do what you like. You know, that first song, um, Ships in Distress, or no, and... Um, in folk songs, you can get up to anything you like and you don't get any, any feedback. You can go wenching, you go whaling, fox hunting, <laughs> anything you like, and no one sends you, um, uh, really, I don't think you should be doing that sort of thing. But when you write songs yourself, people always assume that it's you, you know. And uh, I remember once I was on Farming Today, imagine this, I had to get up at about five o'clock in the morning, go to the studios, and to try and, uh, uh, they wanted to talk about a song, that song, Country Life. And the guy, um, I expected a sort of nice gentle ride, and uh, I got really attacked. The guy was saying, um, this is not a reasonable song, this is just an unbalanced rant. <laughs> and I said, um, <laughs> I said, don't blame me, it's the guy in the song, you know. And he said, what do you mean? Well, the song, um, you know, it's the guy who can't afford to, to live in his uh, own village. Of course he's going to be a bit off, you know, what do you expect? <laughs> and he didn't understand, he couldn't quite, you know, he probably goes 
to see Hamlet and complains how he treats his mother or something like that. <laughs> so I'm going to be um, I'm going to be somebody else in this song. It's one of mine. I'm going to be this old sort of um, sea dog down on a on a harbourside bar, and uh, for anybody who cares to listen. For anyone who cares to listen, I'm going to tell them this story. And it's a, a story that's told on every ship, uh, every sailing ship, that a sailor actually spent the first married night with the young bride of an elderly merchant man, and he was paid to do it. And uh, it only ever happened to one person. And that's the person in the song, and he's condemned to be never believed by anybody. So there you are. You're at a harbourside bar in a place like Topsham, and there's this old sea dog. Long, sort of fair hair and a beard. Plays the fiddle a bit. <laughs> Just gotta imagine the person. I don't know if Phil's watching this. I wonder if he. This is called a tall ship story. So you find me drinking in the harbor If you have an hour till you set sail Join an old sea dog, sit here in the corner Gather round boys and hear my tale We were homeward bound from the far east indies Filling up the hold in old Shanghai When a horse and a carriage they came near us Side. Stories told of the wind and rock Of haunted ships that never made dock A thousand tales of the deep and stormy brine But this one's mine She was the sweetest sight The fairest beauty I wiped my brow, I left to shore He called me closer, softly whispered Young man, for just one night she's yours My shipmate stretched her eyes in wonder As I climbed in the carriage and I rode away We passed that night in the sweetest rapture And I didn't return till the break of day Stories are told of the wind and rock Haunted ships that never made dark A thousand tales, the deep and stormy brine Is this one mine? Sadness in the old man's grey eyes He took my arm and said Just leave us But go tell the whole world about old Shanghai On every ship a loudmouth sailor Says it happened to him what happened Fiction true, but you'll be known as a liar by all your crew. Stories I tell of the wind and rock, haunted ships that never made dock. A thousand tales of the deep and stormy brine. Is this? 
this one mine Thank you very much. About uh, six years ago, Phil and I, um, we pipped Sir Francis Drake at the post for greatest ever Devonians. <laughs> How bizarre is that? Uh, you know, Devon County Council organised this little online vote. And people were invited to send their suggestion for Greatest Ever Devonians. And of course, Francis Drake wasn't on tour at the time, and we were. <laughs> and we just let it sort of slip out. That we were up for this award. But uh, I wrote a song called Drake. And I read some interesting things about the man. He was a pugnacious little <laughs> bastard. He really was. He was implacable in his hatred of anything to do with the Catholic Church and, and the Spanish. And, and I like the idea of th that this guy, his money sort of financed the art centres of the time that would have given people like me a gig. I quite liked it. And uh, the song refers to the fact um, that the Spanish uh, could frighten their children by saying that El Draco, Drake, the dragon, would get them after dark. He became like a bogeyman figure, and I thought that's fantastic, the, the sort of confluence of Drake, the name, and the dragon, and Draco, and the ships burning in Cadiz Harbour. So I wrote a song, and also the song refers to the legend, like King Arthur, that when England is in time of trial, then the echoing, the sounding of Drake's drum on Plymouth Hoe will return him, will call him back from uh, a place called Nombre del Dios, where he was buried in a lead casket. So if you hear Drake's drum, at the moment, just around Plymouth, it's deafening. <laughs> because they reckon that Drake is going to come back and sort out our banking community. <laughs> and what he will make of the Bank of Santander, I really do know that. No, <laughs> he's going to be a bloody cross I am, I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> Sort them bastards out. <laughs> so this is Drake. Western counties point me at the sea. I stand unsteady on the shore. The ebbing tide drags my feet from under me, and I must follow it once more. I'll trace a circle around the oceans of the earth I'll place a band of Spanish gold On this cold finger of the land of my birth They dare to steal, to have an hold How 
out of the night I'll give them fear and flame In oaken ships of fire and death Their strange children will gather at my name And learn to fear my dragon's breath From these red cliffs I will dive into the sun Until from Plymouth ho the echo of my drum from leaden slumber will summon me In times of trial recall my restless breath It's written there upon the page How a poor west country man Stood before a throne And how his plunder bore a golden name Thank you. I'll play, um, I'll play you a couple more songs and then we'll sort of um, go and get some fresh air. Um, it's very lucky. I, I managed to bring the typical West Country weather with me. For this year. <laughs> because you may not know that we, we enjoy this for most of the year, the temperatures. Like apart from that odd time that you went on holiday down there and it might have rained, but apart from that. Uh, I'm going to sing a song. As I said earlier, in a folk song, you can be anybody you like. And I'm going to be the uh, the wife of a man who's just been pressed. The press gang have got hold of him. And uh, she sort of laments his loss and looks forward to him returning. But something strikes me as a bit um, strange about the whole press gang thing. You know, I mean, I imagine if you knew that the press gang were out and about, say, on Weymouth Seafront, you wouldn't meet your mates for a pint there, would you? You know, <laughs> fancy a pint and a curry? Yeah, we go to Weymouth. What about the press gang? Oh, they're at the Crown's Head. They won't be down at the King's Arms. All right. And, uh, yeah, I think there was something... You know, you had one pint of um, tinners too many and found yourself somewhere out at sea for 18 months. Oh, bloody hell, hell of a hangover I've got. <laughs> Those of you who think that actually Phil went off on a tall ship's voyage two years ago, you're quite wrong. The press gang got him in Dawlish Warren. <laughs> and the idea was to sell him into slavery, but it, um, they were halfway there and um, they, they sort of set him free because um, they said if he played the blind fielder one more time, then that would be it. So, <laughs> so that's what happened to Phil. And in two years' time, apparently, it's going to happen again. Who knows? So I'll sing you a song about the press gang and then I'll sing you a, a song called The Bristol Slaver uh, to finish the first set. And again, it's very important for the narrative of this song that the slave captain walks through St Paul's to get to his boat, OK? Because in modern day times, a young West Indian guy from St Paul sees his ghost. So it sort of has to connect. And I got an email from somebody. Um, <laughs> The sea captain in question would not have walked through St Paul's to get to his ship. To have done so would have involved a detour of nearly two miles. <laughs> and then the words that I will remember for the rest of my life, it says, whilst not detracting from the overall enjoyment of your song, <laughs> I do feel geographical accuracy would have enhanced it somewhat. <laughs> and I managed to trace the actual origin of the email, and that was from that bloke Neil Pearson of the festival. So I, I just... <laughs> pedantic git <laughs> that's what you get from Yorkshiremen uh, so um, so I'll sing you all things are quite silent and then the Bristol Slaver and it'd be nice to see you after a half an hour break I think it goes like this all things are quite silent each mortal at rest 
When my true love and I, we got snug in our nest. And the boat set of ruffians entered our cave. And they forced my darling to plow the salt wave. I begged for my true love as though for my life but they'd not listen to me although a fond wife said the king he needs sailors to see he must go and they left me lamenting in sorrow and woe but through green fields and meadows, oft times we did walk. Such sweet conversations of love we did talk. And the birds from the woodland so softly did sing. Ah, the lark and the thrush made the valleys to ring. But although my love's left me, I won't be cast down. For who knows but my darling will one day return and make me amends for this trouble and strife. Oh, my sailor and I will live happy for life From my house in Clifton I see ships under sail Through some poles to the harbor Tied up in the basin lie A dozen floating jails For profit and promotion Oh, no, no I steer my Bristol slaver I'm sailing lives across the ocean Try it on earth can save you and to this house in Clifton I bring capital from pain trinkets to Africa slaves to Jamaica rum and tobacco back again and again For profit and promotion oh, no, no. I steer a Bristol slaver I'm selling lives across the ocean oh, no, no. no man on earth can save you Off Cape Verde we lay at anchor We're crammed from stem to stern Soon we sail for Kingston Torn away from Africa Never to return I cast the Bristol slaver Oh no, no As we steer towards the west they sail the sea forever Oh no, no May your spirit never rest No, never The 
came here in the 50s I grew up in St. Paul Last night I walked through Clifton There was a voice in the darkness A shadow on the wall A whisper For profit and promotion I steer a Bristol slaver I'll sell your life over the ocean Try it I know man on earth can save you From profit and promotion hey. Oh no, no I steer a Bristol slaver I'll sell your life over the ocean But this isn't one of them. This is the sort of rabble rousing one. It's called, as I say, in the song, I am imploring my lyrical lost love to return to me. She's left the West Country and gone to live in, in um, uh, where, uh, Swindon. Yeah, it is Swindon. Hence that song earlier. Or Yeovil. She's gone somewhere like that. And I'm going to offer her all sorts of inducements to return. I shall offer her cream tea, scrumpy. <laughs> I shall offer her a visit to Sandy Park to see the Exeter Chiefs. I shall offer her a view of the moonlight and the apple blossom, and I shall offer her a weekend ticket to Shrewsbury Festival if she's very lucky. <laughs> that should do the trick. <laughs> Here's the chorus. Now you know. Now you know. And lovers in a wave washed town. Hand in hand, we would walk by the water. And as the day went down, with a dimming of sunlight on your face, you swore you never would leave this place and stay with me forever in the West Country. When you left that day, you kept my key. I tell you these hills and the rolling sea are yours forever. Now come back to me. Now you know. Now you know I want you back now. Now you know. You hear me now you know. Can you come back to me? I dream we sway in the ocean. My hands on your hips When I wake your whispering Find me Is your taste on my lips I gain the world I lost the prize Yeah, living up there Under Shropshire skies When right back here in my arms Is where you should be In the mists of valley And the crowned Ardmore The woods, the fields the ancient tours are yours forever. Now come back to me. Come on, try this. Now you know. Whoa. Now you know. I hear ya. Now you know. Will you come back to me once more time? Now you know. I hear you, darling. Love. Come on back to me. silent prayer I'm loud I'm clear you're up there I'm down here I'll wait forever till you come back to me no second thought no shadow of doubt from the clifftops I will shout your name out loud now come back to me 
Thank you so much. See you in the autumn. Good night.